After a heartbreaking discovery at a former Canadian boarding school last month, one local group says there is more where it came from. They took to the streets of Colorado Springs today to let the world know. News 5 Spencer Humphrey filed this report for us earlier today. It's not ancient history. The last residential school closed in not too long ago. In fact, the institutions Marcelina Ramirez is marching about operated during most of our lifetimes. But a lot of them, I think the last one closed in 1996. My little brother was born in 1996. She's talking about residential schools like this one in Kamloops, British Columbia, where officials recently discovered the remains of 215 indigenous children in unmarked grave sites. It's not just Canada, it's here as well. The schools became commonplace in North America starting in the late 1800s, mostly run by Catholic churches indigenous children were forced to attend them. They were not only taken, ripped from their families, but they were also stripped of their language, of their traditions. And on top of that, they were physically, mentally, and sexually abused. It's what brought her and countless others to Monument Valley Park Saturday. My grandmother um, was sent to residential Catholic school, and I heard, heard all about the atrocities that my mother would tell me about, the things that our family went through and our people went through. Because they believe the discovery at the school in Canada was unfortunately just the tip of the iceberg. These children deserve justice. Every single residential school needs to be investigated. Every single residential school, those grave yards need to be dug up. These families, we deserve to give our children a pop proper burial. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs. Spencer Humphrey, News 5. That group marched to the Catholic Diocese of Colorado Springs carrying 215 pairs of shoes representing the 215 bodies discovered at that Canadian school site. This weekend,